Okay, so this is Arthur Lino back with part 9 of Digimon World 2003. This time I'll be fighting the Serial Leader. After doing all this chance for him, of course. <sighs> uh, I'm starting up with Patamon because generally I don't really use him that often. Uh, most of the time in the battles it's... It's just been uh, Gilmon and Kumamon. However, it... The reason I don't use them stats to show here. Patmon's stats aren't uh, relatively high, they're pretty low compared to my other ones. His only advantage is that I think his intelligent and spirit stats are slightly higher and he has a bigger MP pool. I find him more useful generally for his utility with small heal. However, if you keep casting like s small heal whenever your health is low, you can have Batman uh, soak up a little bit of damage. But with his low HP and low speed, he isn't really that uh, steady enough to become like a tank or anything. He, he could usually get doubled, uh, just as you see here. The Serio Leader, yeah, uh, he has three Digimon. Most, uh, for all the other battles that we've seen so far, there's only been one. He, he uses three Digimon, uh, mine and Tyron one, which you see now. Uh, Tyranno Man. Uh, we've we've already fought those two, but these two are both stronger versions of them. As you can see, uh, I think I'm pretty sure uh, probably the speed stat is a lot higher since the speed stat uh, affects uh, how many times you evade, and as he's evading quite a lot, well, it speaks for itself. Kumaman got a lucky of it. I wouldn't say the the Serio leader isn't too difficult at my level, which is uh, eight, eight, and nine for Patamon, Kumaman, and Kilmon in that order. But at lower levels, it can prove difficult. Especially to due to the constant evading. I'm quite sure that Whirlwind may be uh, the wind damage is effective against Tyranimon, but it's hard to tell whether it's just the extra damage from the attack or specifically that Tyranimon has some sort of weakness to it. However, it does do like uh, 90 or so damage more than a regular attack. So if you do have a uh, if you did choose a Maniac pack and have, a, have Grismon, uh, well, it's a good move to use. Oh, but, um, conserving his MP a little bit for uh, something that I'm going to show you soon. It's, oh yeah, I forgot to mention the last Digimon. His last Digimon is one that we haven't seen yet, uh, Ape Man. He's slightly stronger than his other ones, but compared to the bosses that we've fought, uh, Pharaohmon and Master Tyranno, he's not much of a threat anymore. He's not much of a threat compared to them. Oh yeah, the DNA Digimon. You use 80 MP from both of the Digimon, and you have to be a specific Digimon in switching between them. It basically acts as an attack in between. This one's uh, Kento Guru Mon, which is kind of the ultimate version of Metal Guru, which also fires lasers. It seems like 
seems a lot of ultimates in this game are firing lasers. <laughs> Something uh, odd I've noticed about the Ape Man in this battle is it seems to be doing a fixed amount of damage. It keeps doing 210 to kill man. I'm not sure whether it's just by chance uh, it's 210 since the damage seems to vary. Yeah, uh, usually. Or it could just be something like, you don't know, uh, Eightmon's attack is fixed, but it depends, you know, on defensive cards. If it does do 210, Gilman does survive this attack. And he does. Considering the last uh, DNA that evolved was blocked, well, evaded, uh, I'll show it again to show how much damage it can do. Uh, if it isn't evaded again. Quite good. It if you want to uh, switch between Twi D uh, Digimon and you are able to DNA Digivolve, I'd really recommend it since a, a free attack is quite worth it when you're switching. Well, it's not as long as you have plenty of MP, you won't want to waste. It, it's not that good if you're using something like um, Tuna Man due to his low MP. But if you have plenty of MP, it's uh, a very good choice to make. So Serial did uh, just calls for great and stuff. And he gives you uh, two items. Uh, Serial badge, uh, it's kind of pointless. And I don't think it does anything. But the silver ticket, I'm pretty sure that uh, allows you to train a few more stats at the gyms. Yeah, the next leader is Suzaku leader. Much like Seru leader, it doesn't have a name. Okay, uh, I have to do kind of like a separate kind of fetch quest to uh, uh, be able to ride the gun. Gondol, gondol, gondol of it. I was kind of thinking about uh, switching, switching out Patamon the next chance I get to, you know, get another Digimon since it's possible to unlock the other ones in this thing. Probably decide that later. I'll sh show you the. Uh, you'd have to talk to these guys to uh, kind of activate uh, optional boss to so you can uh, unlock the Digimon. The optional bosses are the ultimate forms of the rookie Digimon you get. For example, um, Gilmon's is War Growlmon. Which we've seen in you know the battle with Pheromon I had earlier. Seems the uh, time limit's come to an end. Uh, this is part nine of Digimon World 2003. See you next time.